It's a shame. Despite my sister being a popular model, it seems I'm the more attractive one. Her words pierced my heart deeply. I have been dreaming of a happy future with my fiancé, but my sister had been secretly involved with him. I have built a shining career, signing contracts with famous brands both domestically and internationally. Yet faced with the betrayal of my sister and my fiancé, everything fell apart. Strangely, I didn't cry. After this betrayal, I vowed revenge. They should enjoy while they can. My name is Emily Stevens. I'm 23 years old. I've been tall since I was a child, which led me to devote myself to volleyball during my school days. The practices were tough, but even more so, they were fun. The joy of winning a game and the bonds with my teammates are unforgettable. While playing with friends during college, I was scouted by a modeling agency. I started working as a model, participating in photo shoots and fashion show rehearsals. After graduation, I decided to pursue modeling as my main career while working part-time in retail. Balancing work and modeling was challenging, but every day was fulfilling. I appeared in numerous fashion shows and gradually contracts with famous brands increased. When I graced the cover of a magazine for the first time, it was truly moving. Seeing my family and friends rejoice was what made me the happiest. My dream is to leverage my influence as a model to launch my own Aperol brand. I want to host a show for my own brand. I keep working hard every day with that goal in mind. Through my modeling career, I've met many people and gained various experiences. I want to keep moving toward my dreams. I have a younger sister close in age. Her name is Naomi. Unlike me, who takes time to open up to people, Naomi is sociable, friendly, and gets along with anyone right away. We were often compared as if we were twins, especially since we were born so close together. For example, during elementary school sports days, I was terrible at the relay race and always finished near the end. On the other hand, Naomi, who had great athletic skills, always came in first or second. Naomi, you're so fast. Emily, keep trying. Naomi was always the one being praised by our parents and teachers. We were compared in high school grades, too. Naomi excelled in academics and was always at the top in test scores. She could easily solve subjects like math and science, which I was terrible at. Naomi did well in all subjects again. Emily, you need to try harder. I still vividly remember my mother saying that when we received our report cards. The same thing happened in volleyball. Naomi and I started volleyball at the same time, but she quickly improved and was chosen as a regular team member. Naomi, you have a knack for this. Emily, keep practicing so you can catch up. Whenever Naomi shone in a match, I often found myself cheering from the bench. Naomi could do everything. Hearing our parents speak proudly about her, I often felt a little lonely. Bright, sociable, and charming, Naomi was popular with everyone, even with adults, including our parents. I was envious of my sister, but I had one thing I could beat her in. That was my height and physique, inherited from our parents. My tall stature had made me stand out since childhood, sometimes even getting teased for it. But being scouted once during high school boosted my confidence. However, since I was fully committed to volleyball at the time, I turned down the modeling offer. Meanwhile, Naomi had to quit volleyball due to an injury in middle school, and she gradually started going down the wrong path. She began skipping school more often and hanging out with friends. Our parents tried to talk to her multiple times out of concern, but she, her rebellious attitude only grew stronger. Still, she was smart enough to barely make it into high school, but her behavior didn't improve. It actually got worse. Skipping classes became a daily occurrence, and she started staying out late. She got involved in inappropriate activities and places, causing problems at school too. Naomi, what's going on with you lately? None of your business. Leave me alone. I tried to talk to her multiple times out of concern, but she never listened. Our parents were at their wit's end, consulting teachers and counselors, but Naomi's attitude never changed. Her grades plummeted, and her prospects for advancement seemed bleak. But even then, Naomi continued living freely. Naomi, have you thought about your future? Shut up! It's none of your business. It's easy for you to talk. You get to keep playing volleyball, and even got scouted as a model. I don't want to hear concern from someone as lucky as you. Naomi's behavior started affecting our family too, causing our parents to cry multiple times. Seeing our parents and Naomi like that, I didn't know what to do. It was just painful. Every day, our whole family worried and wondered if there was anything we could do for Naomi. And one day, a major event happened that would change Naomi's life forever. Emily, let's do our best in the next match too. Even in college, I spent every day sweating on the volleyball court with my club teammates. One day, when the club was on break, I was shopping with a friend. While walking through the crowds, a man suddenly called out to us. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Startled, I turned around and saw a man in a suit standing there. At first, I thought he was a scammer and tried to walk away, but he persistently followed us. Excuse me, excuse me. <sighs> what is it? You're being a nuisance. 
I turned back and glared at him. Are you interested in becoming a model? That one question would change my destiny, though I had no idea at the time. A model? Me? Yes, you. I'm from this agency. The business card he handed me had the name of a well-known talent agency. Is this for real? I was skeptical, but also intrigued. Of course it is. You have great style and features. I would love for you to come to the agency to discuss things further. Please come for an interview. On the way home, I discussed it with my friend. Emily, that's amazing. You could become a model. Yeah, but I wonder if I can actually do it. Though I was anxious, my curiosity won out. Why not give it a try? My parents surprised me with their response when I consulted them. The next day, I decided to take a leap and visit the agency. Entering nervously, I was greeted by a professional atmosphere. After speaking with a representative and taking some photos, we moved on to contract talks. Miss Stevens, we believe in your talent. We would love for you to work with us. Encouraged by those words, I decided to pursue a career in modeling. Being scouted as a model marked the beginning of a big change in my life. Gradually, Naomi's and my lives began to diverge. I continued balancing my studies with photo shoots on days without classes or on weekends. Balancing college life and modeling was tough but fulfilling. The atmosphere on the shoot was surprisingly friendly, and I gradually made more model friends. Emily, we're together for the next shoot too. Can't wait. Those words encouraged me, and I became more committed to my work. Every day was fresh and exciting, with various encounters and new environments. Working with professional stylists and makeup artists. On set taught me a lot. Emily, that pose looks great. Just hold it right there. Every time the photographer praised me, I grew more confident. I graduated college and decided to work as a model full time while working part time at a clothing store. Emily, I bought that magazine you're in. I've collected all the magazines you've appeared in. Encouraged by words from my family and friends, my motivation grew even stronger. I got along well with the staff at my part time job, and we often talked about fashion and beauty during breaks. One day, I decided to audition for a brand I had always admired. I really wanted to pass this audition. Nervously, I gave it my all and then waited for the results. Emily, congratulations! You passed the audition. Your next shoot is overseas. My joy exploded at that moment. Really? Thank you so much. I repeatedly thanked him while making a mental fist bump. Excited yet nervous, I prepared for my first overseas shoot. Arriving at the shoot, I was greeted by a large crew, including the photographer Chris, who would later become my fiance. Nice to meet you. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you too. I'm Emily. Likewise, I'm looking forward to working with you. His smile eased my nerves a bit. But soon as the shoot started, Chris's expression changed completely. Emily, just keep that smile. His direction made it easy to maintain a natural smile. Is this your first time abroad? Are you shy around new people? I'm actually the same. His kind demeanor warmed my heart during the breaks. As a photographer, Chris was exceptionally good at making others feel comfortable. Even when I felt nervous during my first overseas shoot, Chris would speak to me at just the right moments. Although I had been praised during shoots before, Chris's words had a special resonance. His words seemed genuinely heartfelt. Emily, you're still new to modeling, right? But you're truly an amazing model. His words made my heart race. During our time abroad, Chris continued to support and encourage me as I adapted to the new environment. Where would you like to go today? He would ask or suggest local delicacies to try. One day, while enjoying a meal with the crew, Chris recommended a restaurant. This restaurant is popular with the locals. Their pasta is especially good. The pasta he recommended was indeed delicious, and I was amazed. It's so good. The real thing is different. I'm glad you liked it. Let's try more delicious things together. His words warmed my heart once again. Chris, I'm honored to be able to work with you again. Let's exchange contact information. We exchanged contact information just before the shoot ended. Even after returning home, Chris and I kept in touch frequently. Good morning, Emily. What's on your schedule today? Whenever I received his morning messages, I couldn't help but smile. Good morning. Today I have a new shoot at a house studio. Good luck. I'm rooting for you. Those exchanges became a daily pleasure. Two months later, I was thrilled to reunite with Chris on a shoot. Long time no see, Emily. How have you been? I've been well. It's a pleasure to see you again. Even through the camera, my heart would race whenever he looked at me. From that day on, we began going out for meals together. Emily, there's a special place I want to take you to tonight. He took me to a stylish restaurant with a romantic atmosphere. It's really lovely. Thank you, Chris. I chose it, hoping it would make you happy. His bashful response made me like him even more. Emily, I like you. I've always wanted to be with you. Would you go out with me? His confession left me momentarily speechless, but my heart quickly filled with joy. I like you too, Chris. Please take care of me. He smiled so happily at that moment. From that moment, our relationship began.
My relationship with Chris was truly special to me. He always supported and encouraged me, both professionally and personally. His presence was undeniably a source of strength in my life. Our time together was filled with happiness, and each day brought new discoveries and joy. We visited many places together and spent countless hours together. I am deeply grateful for his kindness and sincerity. Emily, thank you for always being there. Because of you, I can keep going. His words made me treasure him even more. Our relationship progressed smoothly, and we naturally began talking about the future. Emily, I want you to stay by my side forever. I'd be happy to be with you forever, too. We promised to spend our lives together. I believe that this happiness would last forever. Time with Chris was incredibly precious to me, and every day felt special. Being with him enriched my life and gave me the strength to keep moving toward my dreams. My modeling career was also progressing well. One day, Naomi suddenly called. Since we rarely talked, I was a bit surprised to get a call from her. Sis, I need to talk to you. What's wrong, Naomi? Did something happen? Yeah, actually, after graduating high school, I've been working part-time and hanging out, but... Yeah, I've heard that from mom and dad, but what's going on? She took a deep breath and continued. Well, dad told me to become independent and kicked me out. Really? I knew her parents were worried about Naomi, but I never thought they'd actually kick her out. They said they'd cover three months' rent, but after that, I'm on my own. Then you just need to find a job by then, right? Yeah, but it's not that easy. Hmm, Naomi, do you have any skills or a job in mind? She thought for a moment before answering. Honestly, I don't have anything specific in mind. I'm working part-time, but it's not enough to live on. That's why I was hoping you could help me find a job. I felt her voice trembling a bit. Then an idea struck me. Though Naomi is shorter than me, she has good looks and a great figure. Modeling might be a good fit for her. I thought it would be best to talk to my agency's manager first if I were to introduce her to work. I also considered introducing her to Chris, who was a photographer. Naomi, I just thought of something. What is it, sis? How would you feel about modeling? I could introduce you to the agency manager, I suggested. Her previously gloomy tone suddenly brightened. <gasps> really? But do you think I'd be okay? I mean, look at my messy hair and everything. You'll be fine, Naomi. You have a beautiful face and a great figure, so let's give it a try. I encouraged her. A few days later, I took Naomi to the agency. I explained the situation to the manager and introduced Naomi. Little did I know that this action would lead to something irreparable. Naomi greeted the manager and Chris with charm, quickly endearing herself to everyone. At first, she joined me on shoots, but soon she began getting called in for shoots on her own. Watching this, I felt no jealousy. Instead, I was happy to see her thriving in her modeling career. Naomi, do your best in the next shoot. I would cheer her on every time, sending her off with encouragement. But around that time, I started noticing that Chris was becoming more distant. Previously always cheerful, Chris began acting cool towards me. Whenever I tried to talk about meeting our parents or discussing the future, Chris seemed uninterested. Can you meet my parents next weekend? Uh, let's talk about it later. His vague responses were all I got. At the same time, he started calling Naomi in for shoots more often than me. Initially, he worked on shoots together, but gradually Naomi was called in more, and I started feeling uneasy. Then one day, Chris suddenly said he wanted to break off our engagement. That statement left me utterly shocked. What? Why? What happened? Nothing happened. I just lost my feelings for you. How could you? Sorry. Without saying anything more, he walked away, leaving me stunned and speechless. Around the same time, Naomi frequently fell ill, and I found myself covering her shoots more often. Watching Naomi, I had a bad feeling. Naomi, what's going on? Is something wrong? I asked cautiously. After a brief silence, she quietly responded. I'm pregnant. What? Whose baby is it? Chris's. In that instant... It felt like my entire world was collapsing. Sis, you were the talk of the town model, but I guess I was the more attractive one after all. Naomi initially seemed down, but she gradually began to speak boldly without any remorse. I was so overwhelmed with disbelief and anger that I couldn't even feel sad. Also, I'm already married to Chris. Why would you do such a thing? Because Chris said he liked me better. Her insensitive words made my anger boil over. Naomi, why did you have to do this? It can be helped. This is fate. At that moment, I stopped caring about anything. I didn't even feel sad about the betrayal. All I felt was a mix of anger and frustration. Naomi, do whatever you want, I said and walked away. Despite the swirling thoughts of never forgiving them, I didn't have the energy to express it. After the incident became public, I was filled with deep wounds and feelings of betrayal. But I decided to channel that anger and disappointment into something else. The frustration of being betrayed by Naomi and Chris spurred me on. They should enjoy while they can. I muttered, vowing revenge. I couldn't stay silent any longer. I decided to expose Chris and Naomi's affair. I also planned to leak the story to a tabloid. 
The editor who responded was James, a seasoned journalist who had interviewed me before. Hello, Mr. James. I have something to discuss with you. Do you have some time? Hello, Emily. I'd be happy to hear anything you have to say. Let's schedule a meeting. Feeling reassured, I arranged a meeting with him. On the day of our meeting, I explained everything that had happened. Sitting in a quiet corner of the cafe, I took a deep breath before speaking. Do you know photographer Chris? Yes, of course. He's quite famous in the industry. He was engaged to me, but he's been involved with my sister, and now my sister is pregnant with his child. Unaware of my relationship with Chris, James looked shocked. Is this true? I can't believe it. I wish it were a lie. Sorry, I didn't mean to be insensitive. Please tell me everything. I took out the proof, photos, and copies of messages from my bag and showed them to James. I want you to write about this story. Will you help me? Absolutely. This is big news. We will conduct our own investigation and prepare an article. Let's start with an interview. We'll make sure to get this story right. As the interview began, I calmly spoke about the facts. I found out about Chris and Naomi's relationship one day out of the blue. We were engaged, but he was seeing my sister. As I talked, anger and sadness welled up, but I kept him in check. This feature will shock many people and convey your truth. I hope justice is served. He promised to start his own investigation immediately. Thank you for your cooperation in today's interview. However, we need more time to gather additional evidence to back this up. Of course. Please let me know as soon as you find any new information. I waited for the results of James's investigation. A few days later, James contacted me. Emily, I need to talk to you. Can you come to the office? There was a tension in his voice. I headed to the office immediately. As I entered, he greeted me with a serious expression. First, I need you to stay calm. Our investigation has uncovered some startling facts. What have you found out? It appears that Chris has been involved with several other women besides your sister. His words left me momentarily speechless. Really? Are you sure? Yes, without a doubt. We have the evidence. He showed me some photos and copies of messages. In them, Chris was seen being intimate with several other women. At that moment, a strange sense of relief washed over me. Ah, <sighs> thank goodness. I whispered to myself. If I had married Chris, I might have ended up with even deeper scars. Thank you so much, Mr. James. Now I know the truth. Emily, do you feel a bit more at peace now? Whether to publish the story is up to you, but I believe it's important to bring this to light. You're right. By exposing this, we might prevent someone else from getting hurt by a person like Chris. I agreed with James, feeling more determined. All right, we'll write a feature based on this. We'll do our best to convey the truth. I spent the days leading up to the article's release feeling both anxious and hopeful. However, I had full confidence in James's investigation and his ability to write the article. The day finally came. The article is ready and will be published in tomorrow's magazine. After hearing this, I prepared myself mentally and waited for the article to go public. It felt like an eternity, though it had only been a week since Naomi and Chris's marriage was exposed. When the article was released, it was featured in the magazine and widely covered on social media and news outlets. I picked up the magazine and checked how my words were conveyed. Photographer Chris betrays fiance Emily Stevens. Shocking relationship with her sister revealed. The headline read, and the detailed article left nothing out. It didn't take long for Chris's reputation to plummet. One by one, the projects he was involved in were cancelled, and his name was completely tarnished. Chris tried reaching out to me multiple times, but I ignored his calls and messages. One day, he showed up at my house. Opening the door, I saw Chris, looking defeated. Emily, please, hear me out. It's all a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Explain it to me. What you did is unforgivable. Don't ever come near me again. Please, Emily, I think we can still work this out. It's over with Naomi. Seeing his tearful eyes, I was more bewildered than ever. Over with Naomi? What about the child? What do you think Naomi is? Do you even understand the harm you've caused? He fell silent, lowering his head. I truly messed up. I regret hurting you. It's too late for that. My heart's wounds won't heal. But I won't forget what you did to me. Now leave. I said coldly and closed the door. After that, Chris lost his job and people began to distance themselves from him. His reputation in the industry became the worst, and he stopped receiving new job offers. I heard he muttered, This wasn't supposed to happen. Over and over again, but at the same time, I knew my choice was the right one. On social media and in the news, Chris's scandal was a hot topic, with many people criticizing him. It was the moment his fame completely crumbled. Meanwhile, Naomi disappeared from the public eye. The scandal made her name infamous, and she hid away, avoiding the cool gazes of the public. But digital footprints are terrifying. They were periodically resurfaced on video sites and social media. Their scandalous behavior never faded from the public memory. Imagining Naomi somewhere facing despair made my heart ache. She was suffering in this situation too. One day after a long silence, Naomi called me. 
Sis, I need to talk. Can we meet? Okay, where should we meet? She chose a cafe in a secluded alley. I entered the cafe and found Naomi sitting there, looking exhausted. I quietly called out to her. Naomi. Ah, oh, sis, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm scared of the public's judgment. I don't even want to go outside. She spoke tearfully. I thought carefully about how to respond. Sis, how am I supposed to live from now on? Naomi, I'll never forgive what you did, nor do I plan to. But it's important to acknowledge your mistakes and not be held back by them. You need to reflect on yourself and figure out why things ended up this way. I told her with as much compassion as I could muster. Every time I look at social media, I'm reminded of how shameful my actions were. Well, it will never go away. But if you overcome this, you might become stronger and kinder than ever before. I tried to encourage her. Thank you, sis. But it feels like there's no place for me anymore. That's not true, Naomi. Our family will never abandon you. Tears streamed down Naomi's face. I'm really sorry, sis. Will you forgive me? Like I said, I won't forgive you. Not now, not ever. But you're my sister by blood. I'm here to support you in moving forward. I smiled. Oh, thank you, sis. Truly thank you. Naomi thanked me over and over again, crying. Afterwards, she slowly began to confront her mistakes and work toward rebuilding her life. The world was harsh, but considering she was also a victim of Chris's deception, I felt a slight relief. Naomi was pregnant, and when I found out, I felt my blood boil. But the unborn child was innocent. She had already faced enough social punishment. Now she needed to raise the child without hardship. Naomi, do you understand what you've done? From now on, you must take full responsibility as a mother. Yes, Naomi, your actions come with consequences. Be prepared to raise this child properly. Become emotionally self-reliant as a mother. Mother scolded Naomi harshly with a tear-strained face, while maintaining a strict tone. Do you understand now? What you did was wrong, but now you need to move forward and do things right. Though I was angry about my life being ruined, she was my real sister. Part of me wanted to support her, so I decided to help with child-rearing along with our parents. Naomi, we'll be there to support you, so let's move forward together. Thank you, sis. And so our family reunited and resolved to support Naomi as we moved toward a new future. The mistakes Naomi made would never be erased, but it felt important to live strong and overcome them. Meanwhile, my new April brand began to see success, allowing me to achieve my dreams on my own terms. At first, I was anxious, but using my years of modeling experience and the connections I'd made in the industry, my brand steadily grew. My designs were loved by many, getting featured in magazines and media. Overcoming my desire for revenge against Chris and Naomi, I chose a path to live for myself. My anger and sadness over their betrayal gradually faded. I resolved to stop looking back at the past and instead focus on moving forward. By proving my worth on my own, I earned the respect and admiration of many. The success of my brand was a significant source of confidence for me. The fact that I had come this far on my own was my greatest pride. Emily, you're amazing. You've really worked hard. Hearing that more often now, I felt genuinely happy. Having overcome my setbacks, I began a new relationship with a kind-hearted man I met through a friend's introduction. He understood my past and was willing to walk with me towards the future. As partners supporting and growing together, we spent each day building a new life. Thus, I moved past my past wounds, achieved my dreams, and found new happiness. I remained determined to continue on my path looking toward the future.